all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to another tutorial by your friend your boy your uh your best friend your mentor <laughs> big knots uh real quick today we're going to do a simple uh tutorial about uh blend shapes um it's going to be real simple um you can get into detail on your own projects but just to show you the basic method of creating blend shapes so let's get started we're going to go up here to create and we're going to start we're going to use a, a sphere today so let's create a quick sphere now i like to zero out all my uh translates so let's do that real quick all right so what you want to do is you want to take the object that you're trying to add blend shapes to and you want to duplicate that so i will go to shift d duplicate that and let's move that over so let's just slide that over all right and zoom out a little bit now when you're creating blend shapes you do not want to change up the amount of faces or vertices and edges that you have you don't want to add any more edges you don't want to add any more vertices you don't want to extrude faces or anything like that because it changes up the topology of the object and it won't match your original um, all you want to do is you want to move things tug and pull them um, so let's get into this let's move a few things around let's see let's get out of soft select I don't So I just stay in. So I was just stay in since I'm already in there. Um, let's select this. Let's select this. And let's select this, 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 and this. Let's move this stuff over. So you get this ball sort of like a weird ugly uh pac-man-ish type face <laughs> all right uh let's also give it uh let's give it some ears or something so let's choose you and, uh, let's see so you're there i would say three down those two let's lift these guys up in the air there you go. There you go. So now let's show how to add this blend shape to our original. So what you want to do is you want to select first the uh, modified sphere. Then you want to go over and you want to select your a your original sphere. You come up here. Now you're in the animation tab. You want to come here to um, let's see, create deformers and you want to go into the blend shape menu to the little box across from there and you want to name your thing so um so this would be useful if you had if you were just doing the face of your object just the face of your character and these are the blend shapes for the face then you want to name your blend shape face if you're doing blend shapes like uh your character is skinny all of a sudden he bulks up and gets all these muscles you want to you want to name it um, muscles or something, you know, just so you know what blend shapes you're working with. Um, me, I'm just gonna call this um, crazy ball, crazy ball, yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that. Now, select your original sphere, and you want to come up to window. And you want to go into animation editors, come down to blend shape. That'll give you this menu right here. And there goes our blend shape crazy ball. Now, uh, let's move this over a little bit. Watch what happens when we move up this slider. You see that? Our original ball can go from original sphere to crazy cat like Pac Man ish, whatever. So, this is also good for uh, facial expressions. You want to give that angry expression or the angry look to your character and sometimes make them happy or give them a little twist between happy and mad. So, you know, so if I was to say take this right here, this 
this uh, original ball, shift select that, shift D, select that, and make another one. And I was to do some other uh, different type of features to this. I could add on, I could add another node on where I'll be able to do this sort of transformation over here. And I could do a combination of the original with the new and kind of do a mix between them. So if you, you had an emotion that was in between angry and happy, it was not quite each one, but somewhere in the middle, a mixture, you could mix those two nodes together and the ball, were, the original ball would reflect that. So that's my simple explanation of blend shapes. I uh, hope it was helpful, hope it was useful. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm just really starting out, trying to gain subscribers. And um, hit me with suggestions of other things you would like to learn. And I'll gladly do tutorials on them. All right. You have a good one.